Hey, it's Kevin. Welcome back to The Road Warrior. I have always been obsessed, oh, okay, I wouldn't say obsessed, fascinated with celebrities and celebrity deaths. And it's not a morbid thing, it's just I'm always curious as to the legacy that people leave behind. Over the past week and a half, two weeks or so, one of my favorite comedy writers, somebody who you may or may not know, her name is Ann Beats, passed away at the age of 74. She was the first woman writer for the National Lampoon. She was one of the original writers on Saturday Night Live and helped create characters like Roseanne, Rosanna Dana, and a lot of the Dan Aykroyd characters like Irving Mainway and just did some, some really iconic things back in the 1970s. Created the TV show Square Pegs. Even produced uh, A Different World, the spinoff to The Cosby Show back in the 80s. And she'd kind of been out of the limelight for a while, and, and I don't want to say had retired from the industry, had been entire, uh, retired from the entertainment world, and was teaching. And I saw a quick obituary online. She passed away at the age of 74. And there wasn't much more said about it. Okay, I understand it. She wasn't famous. Then a couple of days later, Prince Philip of England passes away, 99 years old. Now, you understand people who are 99 years old are going to pass away, and He'd been sick on and off for a while, so it was no great surprise. But because he was, you know, the, the, the spouse to the Queen of England, it was a big deal. But only for a moment. I woke up one day, and I don't remember what it was, Thursday or Friday, whenever he passed, and there were all the announcements that he had passed away. And then literally three hours later, rapper DMX passes away after his, you know, he'd been in the hospital for a week or so with his drug overdose, and there was no more mention of Prince Philip. And it's almost like his moment came and went because I don't want to say somebody more important, somebody more relevant, somebody more with the times passes away and people are interested. And that just fascinates the heck out of me. I've always, you know, and it's like with sports celebrities. I was a big sports kid, so a lot of people who are passing away now were big sports celebrities in the 60s and 70s. And their name means something to me, but in the pop culture world, of if you're in between 18 and 34 or you know, 18 and 54 or whatever, it, it doesn't matter to you. And that's one of those signs of getting older that's always been very fascinating to me. Not how big a celebrity you are, but how relevant you are or how you transcend time. And and I'll be honest with you, I mean, I know who Prince Philip is. I know a little bit about Prince Philip, but because I'm not an Anglophile or a, or a, a, a Brit, I don't, you know, a, a, a British what, a royal watchers, they call them, I really didn't know that much about him. I read, it was interesting, okay, fine, but I didn't care. I knew a lot about DMX, owned some of his music, knew about the ups and the downs and all the issues he had, and it fascinated me. But it was the one that nobody talked about that I was interested in most. Here's a successful 74-year-old woman who probably should have been better known than what she was, and barely anybody cares. It's the, it's the strange world we live in. Just something that's, I, I just... I guess it's almost like a tribute to Ann Beats. I wanted somebody to talk about it and never met her other than watching her and respecting her on TV, didn't know much about it, but it's just something that has just fascinated me for the longest period of time. And because it mattered to me and didn't matter to others, poof, it was gone. Just like this Road Warrior. Back next week, another Road Warrior, KevinMason.us, home of all those Road Warrior episodes. Plus, we've got them on Facebook, we've got them on YouTube. Always love it that you stop by. Always love it when you tell a friend. And you know we'll be here again next week with another one. See ya. Thanks.